All right, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today we're gonna to be doing a get ready with me. So let's uh, get ready. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a project planner. So a lot of these items that you're gonna be seeing are items that I've been using since forever and always. Um, I also am very bad at like talking to the camera and explaining what I'm doing and then also like doing a proper get ready with me where I'm like talking about my life. So I can list the products down below, but you're not going to get a cohesive story, <laughs> story time stuff while I like explain to you what I'm using. So a lot of the stuff I probably won't mention. I mean, if there's something new and interesting, which I think I'm going to go back to a foundation that I recently picked up. So I'll kind of explain that a little bit, probably talk about that. But in the meantime, we're just going to get right into everything. So first of all, how have you all been? Have you all been good? This is the first time uh, getting ready for me in a long time. So that obviously means in terms of putting on makeup there, I think I use makeup three or four times this month. So I'll do a, you know, I mean, I think that my project pan and pan that palette updates will already be up by the time this is up, but there's not any progress. I really don't think so, which is fine, I think. Also in terms of work, so I think last time I was talking, I'm a production assistant and there was like a maybe strike happening with the writers. Well, it is happening and I don't see really an end in sight. So I'm gonna go ahead and like start um, serving again. You know, looking for a, a food job, so food service job. So that's what we're gonna be doing, which I'm excited about, honestly, because I mean, kind of, I think it's a pain in the ass to like serve, yeah, do food service. Cause it's just like, you just get the crazies, like who are just, you know, have their own problems and they put it out on you. So that's not too fun. But I am excited in terms of, you know, going back to a job that one's like not my career. So there's not like a ton of like pressure. It's just a job for money. And two, it's also a job that like the shifts are, unless you're doing like a double, which isn't always, is like between, you know, six and eight hours. <laughs> so it's not too bad. Um, where in my um, normal job, you know, we're doing... 12 to 18 hour days so it's basically half the time so I'll actually be able to like do stuff before and after work which will be lovely so this is the it cosmetic CC cream it's the matte oil free one that I got and I haven't I mean I, I use it a lot but I used to use it a lot but also it was like during the pandemic my I was inside a lot and so it was just getting so dark. I mean, it even still is a little dark for my skin, I think, but it's not a perfect match, but I'm at the lightest that I have, but I, I don't mind. I think that like, I am liking the finish. Also in terms of my skin, I will say, so I always suffer from um, acne so like off and on you know a lot of it i definitely know is hormonal so you know i've seen a dermatologist i do all the things i get a facial like once a month just like help a little bit there but recently it's been really like awful like i've been really really struggling with it and i heard somewhere that like if you take like if you work out a lot which also i've been working out a lot which is amazing. I freaking have been having so much fun working out and doing all the things. But if you work out a lot, like, and you sweat a lot, which I'm definitely someone who sweats, I'm not a, a pretty like gym goer person. Like my skin turns beet red all over. I huff and puff and I'm like, look like I've drowned. I'm a drowned rat whenever I work out which I mean, I think is fine, but it is what it is. You know, I'm not, you see like on Instagram, everyone like who, I don't know, is a professional or not even professional, I would say, but you know, they look cute, 
have jewelry on at the gym, I'm like, okay, that's not me. I don't live that way. But anyways, if you sweat a lot, like you also sweat out like your zinc. And so I started taking zinc, which I love. Um, I feel like it's actually like really helped. But at the same time, I also started using this like Murad toner, which is like an oil control control toner. And so I'm like not sure what is like helping, but my skin just feels, here's the thing about acne prone skin. You can just like tell when it just is like, like you just get pimples all the time, all the time. And it feels so calm. Like my face isn't like hurting. Like a lot of time it's kind of crazy, but it's just helping so, so, so much. Okay. I'm like, I'm like looking around trying to figure out what it is that I'm trying to look for next because I haven't done my makeup in so long. Another thing for Mother's Day, I took my mom to Brady's Shell in San Diego, which is like an outdoor concert hall. And we watched Star Wars with a live orchestra. So that was cool. It was a fun. I've been trying to like get more creative with Mother's Day and like birthdays and gifts for her and whatnot. Um, just cause you know, especially, well, most families do, I think, or most friends think that, you know, I, although I think a gift is like lovely, I think like doing something like an event or like going somewhere, or, like tickets to something just feels so much more, so much more, <laughs> I don't know. So I've been trying to, you know, get more creative with my gift giving rather than just giving jewelry or makeup or whatever, you know? Cause at the end of the day, a lot of us have all those things that we need. So I've had a lot of time off recently. And I think last time I talked about like the podcast that me and my friend started about the film industry, which it's been doing great. I love it. We're like almost to our season finale, which I mean, now that there's the, in, the, the strike that's happening, we may like start working on season two and you know start it sometime in august maybe i'm not really 100 percent sure we have to kind of chit chat about that but you know obviously we have more time to be doing more things now but in the meantime i feel like i've kind of been not doing a lot of things like i've been getting a lot of like decision paralysis almost and to where i'm like you know i mean like a soft version of it is when you're scrolling through Netflix and you're trying to figure out like what it is that you're wanting to actually watch and then you finally like by the time you figure out you're like well I'm tired I need to go to bed now you know so it's kind of like I've been getting a lot of that like I'm like oh I should go out by the pool and like do that and I'm like oh I don't want to put on sunscreen like like all over my body and like cause that's a whole thing you know and then after that you have to like take a shower and you know get all that off so I just feel like I've been a little lazy with like <laughs> living life. Is that possible? And I've not been like happier about it. <laughs> so I saw this girl on TikTok, which by the way, I have a TikTok now. Like what? I tried it before and then I didn't like it that much. And now I'm back, like I restarted an account and I like it all again. I think like it's learned me a little bit, but I started following this girl. I think her name is just Dan on it, but she's doing, she says that her whole thing is, you know, doing something after work until she feels alive again, which they're just like small things like going to the beach or, you know, painting, painting like a rock or something, which I'm like, I kind of want to do these things. Like, I'm like, that's a good idea. Like do something. So I've started and by started, I literally mean yesterday I started to just do something for me every day that's like fun. And I don't know, like once I start working again, I'm not gonna be able to do that um, completely. Cause like I said, if you're working 12 to 18 hours, at some point it's like sleep is gonna be the thing that you need. But you know, at least incorporating, like I've been like wanting to go to like the farmer's market near me every Saturday and every Saturday I find an excuse or I like forget that I'm like oh yeah that was today dang it you know like 
there's just, I'm just not prioritizing having fun and I need to. Yesterday I went out and laid out by the pool and I wanted to make sure that I like went into the water and just like once, you know, and I did and it was great. It was lovely. I, I loved it. I was out for two hours, just like tan on one side, tan on the other side. Um, and by tan, I barely mean tan, obviously. I was just happy I didn't burn. So that's the biggest thing. Um, and then today I'm gonna go watch the sunset over at the beach. And tomorrow, I think I'm gonna try and hike like the Hollywood sign. Not all the way up. There is a path that's like, you know, not super crazy that I found, but I just wanna like go out and hike a little bit and it's like a pretty popular trail so I know like if I'm by myself I'm not like in danger because there's always a lot of people around so yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do I'm so excited and then I have ideas but I'd love if you guys have any ideas like let me know I think like I have things on there too where it's like do a face mask or like I like go ice skating or something you know like just like little things like that go to the park and read, go to an, a new coffee shop and read. So I just have like little things, not, not huge things. I don't live too far from like downtown Disney. So I have that, you know, just like go, go there for fun. So yeah, I just have these little, I'm like, okay, these are like lists of things I'm going to do. And then, you know, once I start working again, I still think, especially with these, um, with serving, I feel like I can still do things like in the morning or at night depending on when the shift is, or even like, like I've been running lately. So like running on the beach would be a, a fun one, you know, cause normally I just go on my treadmill um, in my apartment complex. So yeah, I have like these like cool, fun things like planned and I'm excited for it. Let me know if you all have like heard of this girl. She's, I don't know, it's definitely inspiring. You know, I've also been like, I want to get into like watercoloring, maybe like making you know, I mean, I don't think I'm like <laughs> gonna make beautiful art per se, but even just like a watercolor, like backing, I don't know if that makes sense, but, but, you know, maybe making like the cards for holidays using watercolors. I think it would be cute. Again, just like things that are like making me be creative and like get out there and have fun and yeah, I'm, I'm just excited for it because it feels like fresh and new and cool. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I will have just cut away <laughs> from a lot of things, but I added like eyebrow um, gel and eyeliner and mascara and now lips. I also ran a 5K race, which I'm really excited about. I mean, I'm not like a, a great runner, but it's still fun that I freaking did that. I'm like really excited about it. Um, there's a little medal right here, 5K, woohoo. Um, I've also signed up for another 5K already, which is great. It's um, coming in June, so that'll be fun. I've really enjoyed running and doing all of that. I've been, I've been enjoying running, but I know I've not been doing it right or well, meaning like, I've not been taking, I hadn't been taking care of my body. Like, I feel like I was like so excited that I was like, I actually like running, that that's all I was doing. I started dropping off, like doing my yoga and doing like, you know, squats and like, I guess like strength training type stuff, um, which I've been researching a lot about um, running and that's not what you need to do. You need to keep like your mobility and like your strength training because otherwise you can get injured. And sure enough, well, one, I got like, pretty intensely sick, like cold sick. Um, so I took like a week off that. And then I came in and I was like, okay, I'm good, feel good. And so I started running again. And then like a day or two in, I was like, felt like I had like a foot injury. Like my foot was just like killing me. So I stopped running with that. And then I went and like, I was like, you know what? It's probably my shoes. Cause I don't have like real proper shoes. So I went over to um, a, run, a proper running store near me and they like fitted me and like had me go on a treadmill and like gave me like insoles and everything like fitted insoles and told me what was up and lo and behold I was like oh I'm a seven and a half foot um no they're like you're an eight and a half wide <laughs> like like oh so I've been like at least on one foot and then the other foot is still like small 
which is crazy. And then the one foot, I like have a big arch and the other foot is like, not necessarily like flat, but maybe like a lower arch. So they're like, so you're running the way you're running, you're like comp overcompensating and like doing, I'm like, oh my gosh. So they like fitted me and like properly. And since then, no foot pain, which is great. So yeah, and I've started to like get back into like, okay, Jess, you need to like do your yoga. You need to like do your stretching. And like, although running is like super fun and exciting, I don't need to be running every single day. I need to just like, you know, run a few times a week, That's that'll suffice, and do your other exercises because that's like what's gonna keep you from becoming injured. I'm kind of, I'm like learning. I, get, I got excited. I got like excited that I found a new passion and then now I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's amazing that you found a, a passion, but don't hurt yourself. So that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to like not kill myself, but it's exciting. I'm like, I'm starting to feel, I don't know, like I get ups and downs and like I do talk to my therapist about this. Like I'll have days where I'm just like feeling like crap. And then I'm like, you know, it's probably because I'm not like making a point to see my friends or doing my journaling or like I'm not, you know, my body feels like crap because I'm not taking care of it. I'm not eating. Like it's like one of those things where you just like you fall into like these, I guess like late, not lazy days because I hate that word, but yeah, just like complacent days, I guess. And you start taking for granted, like, all the work you're doing and, like, you know, exercising right and, like, doing all the things and, like, reading and, yeah. So, I just, like, take for granted that and then I'm like, oh, no, I can, like, just sit here and binge a show. But I'm back at it. I'm like, okay, like, let's get going. Let's feel good. Let's continue feeling good and be happy and have fun. And that's what we're doing. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, chat, get ready with me. It's actually, I got ready pretty quickly considering I haven't gotten ready in a while. I probably skipped a handful of steps, but I'm liking the IT Cosmetics so far. Um, you know, once I'm back at, now that I'm back at this, yeah, I think there is like a little bit of a difference between my neck and this, but it's summertime. I'm hopefully going to be spending more time outside soon. So also though, like I said, my skin just feels like it's calmed down. Like the oil production is like not as like insane, like my acne feels like a little bit under control. So I think that that also is like a big part of it too. So yeah, yay for this, yay for this. I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that your project pans and pan that palettes and all the things are doing well, your low buys and no buys and you're, uh, you're just out there doing great things. Anyways, uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy and have a good day. Bye.